motherfucking fall and um, winter time. You know what I'm saying? Because we go through the most let and go. You know what I'm saying? We go through the most deta- uh, detachment. You know what I'm saying? But we And we detach from what's external in fall and winter time. So that's when when you when you're going through spiritual heaven, you know what I'm saying? That's when you can motherfucking in tune into your inner thoughts a little bit more. You can separate and you can find yourself as a spirit a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? That's when you're going through the spiritual heaven time. Fall and winter. Uh, spiritual hell would be summer and spring because more so you're you're connected to more people. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're experiencing more togetherness and shit like that based on just the two bodies of water, aka the sun and what we own, aka uh, Earth, Gaia, you know what I'm saying? Vibrating more closer to each other. Also, getting into um, 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 Physical heaven, you know what I'm saying? That's spring and summer. And physical hell, which is, you know what I'm saying? We see as the external representation of uh, fall and winter. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, you know, that's what we that's what we in. You know what I'm saying? We all in a cycle. We all got our ups and downs. It's times we need to detach. Times we need to come together. And right now is a goddamn time we need to come together. You get what I'm saying? Because we got the moon and fucking... Pisces, first and foremost, time out of Kel Cito, the spirit coach, getting your ass to shape and form for the new age of Aquarius. And y'all know I got to blow that whistle because it ain't no time in the realm I be in. You feel me? But yeah, we're going to get back into, you know what I'm saying, the energies for today. Okay? Because this is what this is about. You know what I'm saying? We're about to stretch. Stretch, okay? New moon in Pisces brings new beliefs. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? Now, what does the moon represent? That represents our our connection, how we connect, um, and how we react and respond and our emotions and feelings. So, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, when it's in Pisces, that's a mutable water sign. So we're going to all feel the need to connect to things that encapsulate that, um, that which is of the 12th house, you know what I'm saying? AKA Pisces, our subconscious, our beliefs, you know what I'm saying? Our need to be in our primordial state. And what I mean Primordial. That means before you came into being, you know what I'm saying? So 12th house is closer to the spiritual realm. That's where I rule by um, um, expansion, you know what I'm saying, which is Jupiter, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to go far out to experience something new. And then it's co-ruled by Neptune, which rules dreams and imaginations and things of that nature. So, you know what I'm saying? When we got the new moon in Pisces, you know, we're going to be reacting, responding to that, which is um, Pisces, 12th house. Um, so we're going to feel the need to connect to our own and others' dreams, faith, and spiritual experiences. So if you a nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been through some, you know what I'm saying? We, we all know we've been through some on a subconscious level. And for the most part, since we're in that water, 
phase, you know what I'm saying? We're all trying to expand out of that. We're all trying to separate the waters, you know what I'm saying? But we're doing that together as a group, as a group of beings, as a group, you know what I'm saying? As our soul group. So this is what we're doing. We're connecting to our goddamn faith right now. You know what I'm saying? We're connecting to our motherfucking imaginations right now. We're connecting to our spiritual experiences right now. And this connection, because the new moon is new, you know what I'm saying? Whenever the moon is new, it's weak. You know what I'm saying? So we're not connecting. We feel the need to be more connected than we actually are. So we unfulfilled. You know what I'm saying? That's based on the moon being in the same place as the sun. You know what I'm saying? But if it was the other way around, we would have a full moon, which would cause a... But yeah, that's a whole another whole nother topic yeah but like i said this is can cause anxiety and worrying so don't worry too much right now you know what i'm saying you just want to understand that you know what i'm saying you're going through a new experience and the new moon is new so it's time for you to start filling up the moon it's time for you to start putting energy in uh on waxing on you know what i'm saying how you do that is follow the moon transits so you know what i'm saying goddamn shit Start right now, you know what I'm saying? Start every day, a little bit. Take your time, learn some shit, connect with some people that got some stability right now. That's that's what you can do and motherfucking get to it. Point blank, period, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, RJ said, bro, send me this heading back to work. Please send me this love, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to RJ. That's the homie from the rack. But yeah, but we about to get into this, you know what I'm saying, this normal exercise, you know what I'm saying, this mental stretch, aka we about to be stretching our consciousness and we about to become more aware of these alignments we going through, you know what I'm saying? So y'all know what the coach, y'all know what I'm saying, y'all getting y'all ass straight to work. <laughs> Let's get it. Somebody got to be the goddamn coach. Nah, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers they ain't being, you know, somebody gotta be him. But yeah, let me get these motherfucking, um, these alignments up. And we're gonna do it like that. And I hope you guys are having a great evening, great night. I'm just, I'm elated, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much in a good mood. I'm in a big mood. Girl, I can feel you. Um, I don't even know if these updates. Give me like one second. Let me send an update it to my iPad real quick. All right, all right, we back, we back. I hope you got your sweat bands, your hair bands, cause your minds are about to sweat. Okay. All right, all right. So we got the sun sextile north node. This is opportunity to go for our spiritual path right now. So you got an opportunity to jump into your spiritual bag. You know what I'm saying? Jump into it. You know, the sun, sex, talent, and the North Node, it creates that opportunity. So jump into your spiritual bag. Jump into your spiritual path right now. If you feel it, sun, sex, talent, Venus, this is an opportunity to express values or entertain your value or pay attention to what you value. You know what I'm saying? So do that. You know what I'm saying? If you love what you're paying attention to right now, don't do that if not, if you're not doing that now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sun sextile Mars opportunity to jump into your passions as well. We got a lot of good energy in the sky right now, so we right, we got an opportunity to jump into our passions and things. Sun conjunct Jupiter. This is an expanded awareness. Okay, you got expanded awareness. Expanded awareness. A new horizon is upon your ass. So you're going to go through spiritual experiences right now. Okay, you're just going to experience some shit, but it's up to you to place meanings and reasons on that shit. You ain't no you ain't no shit if you ain't experiencing. If you ain't experiencing, you ain't gaining no information. If you ain't experiencing, you ain't doing goddamn thing. You just you know. So try to try try to, you know what I'm saying? Uh well, there's no try. There's no try with this conjunction right now. You know what I'm saying? There's no try. We are really not going to try. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no trying. You can cry your river. Sun is on Jupiter. So that means we're seeing the expansion. So if you see what you if you what you see, you don't like that expanding, stop paying attention to that shit. Learn how to focus. Learn how to be somewhere or something else. Learn how to be more creative. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to be more creative. You know? Okay? All right. But yeah, sun conjunct moon, so we're also looking for connections. So we're trying to look how to connect with ourselves. But you the plug. Really, you the plug, but you know what I'm saying? You looking for other people to be the plug for you. But you the plug, though. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, when the moon is new, that's like vulnerable space. You know what I'm saying? It's like vulnerable space. So you got to be a motherfucker. You got to express some shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to feel like you need to fulfill some shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't express no unfulfillment. You know what I'm saying? And how you would do that in a Pisces moon, expressing unfulfillment, it would just be like, you know what I'm saying? You just want to be, you know what I'm saying? You just, just feel too deeply about something. So you just can't like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be fulfilled. You don't feel fulfilled. And that's not a good place to be. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. Then we got motherfucking uh, uh, sun sextile Uranus. So this is uh, so this is opportunity to challenge or be challenged. So you got the opportunity to challenge to be or be challenged. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you stepping up to your challenges right now. Stepping up and changing. You got the opportunity to take, make a change or you will. If you don't, you will probably create your ass a circumstance, a situation for your ass to be changed. But right now, all of us got this ch uh, energy right now. So we all got the opportunity to change right now. So change your life. Change your direction. Get some spark about your ass. Get some spark about your ass, okay? Sun, sex, tile, Pluto. We got the opportunity, opportunity to transform. All right, it's over with. It's over with. Take that transformation. Let all that old shit you got on your mind go. AKA Pluto. That's what Pluto brings. Pluto brings transformation. So when we got the sun, sex, tile, Pluto. The sun is what you see. The sun is what you can be consciously aware of. AKA, AKA. Um, externally or internally, you know what I'm saying? Because we can be aware of something, visions or or internal fire. That's our internal flame or internal fire as a spirit. You know what I'm saying? So motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? We want to. We got the opportunity to transform things that we don't like about that. You know what I'm saying? We don't the visions we don't like. We got the um, opportunity to put death to those. You know what I'm saying? We got the opportunity to put that shit to rest. You know what I'm saying? These last couple months, you know what I'm saying? That shit been on our mind. It's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But now we got this opportunity here. So, you know what I'm saying? We putting that shit to rest now. Put it to rest. Rest it. R.I.P. 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 All right? I'm saying thug life that shit. <clears throat> Boom conjunct Jupiter. So then we going through emotional expansions. Emotionally expanded. Whoa. Emotional expansion. So it should feel good. All right? It should feel good, right? If you know how to let go of your goddamn emotions, though. Because a lot of y'all don't know how to let go of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know how to let y'all be free. Y'all self be free in any circumstance or situation. You know what I'm saying? It got to look like, you know what I'm saying? It got to look like Turks and Caicos. You know what I'm saying? It got to look like motherfucking, you know, this Instagram model. You know what I'm saying? It got to look like that person with that bag and that hat and that and that and that and that. Y'all don't know how to let y'all self be free without feeling, you know what I'm saying? Without feeling you valued by others or some shit like that. But no. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to be emotionally expanded. Gain some wisdom and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit ain't none of that shit. Cut it out. AKA let it go. You know what I'm saying? Let your emotions fly. You know what I'm saying? Let your emotions rise to the heights that they supposed to be at. Motherfucker, don't be scared to let go of shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes in your life. And that's what a fucking new moon to teach you too. Let some shit go. Get ready for some new shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm carrying on, carrying on though, you know. Moon sextile Uranus. This is comfortable with our individuality, so we gonna be comfortable with our individuality. You know what I'm saying? You got the opportunity to be comfortable with your individuality. You got the opportunity to change. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you doing that emotional opportunity to change, change your motherfucking feelings right now. Your whole new world, change your motherfucking feelings. A whole new place for you and me. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Uh, sun, moon, sextile, north node. Okay, you got an opportunity to connect to your spiritual passion, your spiritual path right now. 
You know what I'm saying? So hopefully you do feel connected to your spiritual path. Mercury conjunct Saturn. This is going to be real thoughts. Real thoughts. Real thoughts. Real thoughts. So you got the. So we think of all thinking in realistic terms and things of that nature. But the thing is, reality didn't change to some way, shape, in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? It's going through squares and shit. It's going through motherfucking reality. Reality is in. It's, in, it's changed, bro. We is it's in Aquarius. It's in his home, so it's going through his change right now. So you know what I'm saying when you got Mercury conjunct um, Saturn, you know the real thoughts that you're gonna be thinking about is gonna be based in reality and just connecting with others and shit and people that like minded and shit. Shout out to my boy Burr and this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, you want to connect your motherfucking. You want to share these thoughts with people that have real ideas and shit like that because everybody kind of looking for the know how and whatnot. You know what I'm saying right now, but shit, we all got each other and shit, and some motherfuckers know some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do got to know. So shout out to those people who know some shit. Always show your respect to people who know the way, who can show you the way. And also motherfucking, um, um, you know what I'm saying? that And that just help you be a real nigga when you go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? Real bitch, real, you know what I'm saying? Real loved one, however you like to carry yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. But it's real time. It's time to think realistically. What are you about to do in life? What are you about to change? Who the fuck? Who, who, how are you going to change? You and you can't do it by yourself. So you got to change shit with others right now. You got to change shit with others right now in some way, shape, or form. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Connecting. Get on, motherfucker. Be realistic about your mentality right now. If you ain't realistic about your mentality right now, you in la-la land somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Chill. All right? Carrying on, though. Carrying on. You know what I'm saying? It's just the esoteric stretch. You know what I'm saying? When we become aware, you know what I'm saying? We expand it. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, we expand in our minds. So, we all this stretching. You know what I'm stretching, Stretching the heavens right now. That's it. That's it. New hit is fire. I listen and seek the wisdom and enlightenment. I appreciate you, my brother, Black Raspberry 23. You know what I'm saying? That's Treyway right there. Um. Um. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving on. You know what I'm saying? All right, Venus conjunct Mars. So this is appreciating your passion right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be appreciating their passions and shit like that. So make sure you aiming that in the right area. Appreciating to your ass to transform and get up off your ass. You know what I'm saying? And, and transforming the shit you was valuing before and shit. That shit don't work no more. You know what I'm saying? You want to transform some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Do do your love matters. Spice your love life up. You know what I'm saying? Do some new shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but anyway, you know, Venus conjunct Mars is going to be appreciate our passions in some way, shape, or form. Um, Venus sextile Jupiter. Opportunity to value, um, uh, to value wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So we got an opportunity to value wisdom. So it's some wisdom in it, you know what I'm saying, to the right of you. Just look out the window. Window, look out the window, just look in the sky. It's some wisdom out there. You know what I'm saying? It's some wisdom in life. Take that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Take that opportunity. People giving it to you in all types of ways. You got to be open and ready to receive, though. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't open and ready to receive, then motherfuckers just, you know what I'm saying? You wasting your time. Okay? All right? Venus, sextile, Jupiter. It's an opportunity to value wisdom. Okay? And... And this can also be expanded love. You know what I'm saying? So we all feeling googly gaga in the sky. You know what I'm saying? Super sky high. You know, we in um, Pisces and um, Venus loves being in Pisces. So it's exalted in that nature. You know what I'm saying? So it's not quite there yet. Venus is still in Capricorn, but it creates a sextile, which is an opportunity for, you know what I'm saying? us to feel in La La Land in some way, shape, or form, but make sure you bringing that back, you know what I'm saying, to your motherfucking, you know, where you started at, you know what I'm saying, just being, um, of just being appreciative of what you have, you know what I'm saying, or what you building, you know what I'm saying, that's Venus and motherfucking Capricorn, so appreciate what you building right now, moving on, Venus uh, sextile Neptune. So we all going to be appreciating imaginations and creativity and make sure you are creative motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I got the best video on the internet right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can check that out. It's Black Future.
I'm saying. All right, black means so much more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, and that song, I just, you know, I was just literally rapping about what black mean. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't go no further than that. Like Dola be saying, it don't go no further than that. <laughs> it don't go no further than that. But yeah, but uh, um, yeah, so, you know, we're going to be appreciating the, uh, the imagination right now and creativity. So make sure you're a creative motherfucker. Okay, appreciate your creativity right now. All that shit you used to do as a kid, that shit worked. That shit put you in certain states of being that motherfucking spirits like to be in. They don't like to be in heavy logic and heavy how this gonna happen and shit like that. Sometimes they like to be in that spaces. And when you're in those spaces, those spaces get you out of spaces that in, in um in your esoteric mind, because we always traveling as a spirit, you know what I'm saying, based on what we pay attention to and where we vibrate and resonate at. So, you know what I'm saying, when we having motherfucking, um, when we having, um, when we're having good visions and shit like that, the spirits that jump into those bodies be like motherfucking spirits that manifest you situations where you might have had something hard to do, but just because you was in that space mentally and you was resonating there, you know what I'm saying? You might get through it the easiest, the easier than anybody that came, they probably tr trained 30 days and shit like that. And just because you in that space, shit, you would get to point A to point B faster than a lot of motherfuckers. So do appreciate your imagination. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate your motherfucking and whatever, you know what I'm saying? And if you, you know, if you want to give on some ritual shit, that's some whole different shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some whole different shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit the consultation for that. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Talk about it. Talk about this all in the open. Shh. They watching us. Hmm. Okay. Um. We got Venus conjunct Pluto, so this is transformed love. So, you know what I'm saying? We putting depth to old love and old ways we value. We trying to value something new. You know what I'm saying? We trying to put depth to old things we value. Anything that, that's old, that's outdated right now, that we don't like, it's just going to frustrate us. We're going to be like, damn, why are we still de dealing with this shit? Why are we still dealing with this shit? This little, you know what I'm saying? But it's just the remnants, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we transforming that. Make sure we can transform that. We'll transform that together. You know what I'm saying? We'll melt that together. We'll do that together. But yeah, but we transforming past things that we value. We trying to get put ourselves in a new position now. We're trying to put ourselves in a new space where we can all be relatable in a new way. You know what I'm saying? On a new level. Um, um, then we got Mars sextile. We got... Mars sextile Jupiter, so this opportunity to expand your passion, so opportunity to experience things that you want you you wanted to give birth to, you know what I'm saying, or you're giving birth to, or whatever newness, inspiration, or goal, you know what I'm saying, or aspiration you got right now, you got the opportunity to hop in that and experience that. Then we got Mars conjunct Pluto, Mars conjunct Pluto. Okay, this is passionate about transformation passionate about transformation okay so we put like we also passionate about transforming and putting depth like i said anything that's old and outdated right now anytime you know what i'm saying that shit might frustrate frustrate us right now just because this moon transit where we at we in pisces pisces likes to be free you know what i'm saying it's mutable water it's not to fix water like scorpio where they can be fixated on their own emotions and feelings you know what i'm saying it's not the motherfucking um it's not the motherfucking, um, what else does the motherfucking shit? Um, it's not the cardinal water, aka where they always trying to connect and shit like that. It likes to be floaty. It likes to be movable, but still connected at the same time. That's what Pisces like to be. You know what I'm saying? But in his own respect, knowing that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be comfortable, emotionally comfortable at the end of the day. That's what water represents, our emotions, our comfortability. You know what I'm saying? Esoterically speaking. So, yeah. So, getting back to the motherfucking topic. What's the topic? Motherfucking, um... 
Um, it was uh, Martha John Pluto. We're going to be passionate about transformation. Um, damn, did I do that? My, my ear was in Mars trines. You ran this gift to transform ourselves. I, I think I did that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Opportunity to expand passion. I don't really know which, what I was at, but I'm going to run it back down. Mars sextile Jupiter. Opportunity expands passion to, to expand our passions right now. Mars... Um, Mars sextile Neptune is an opportunity to inspire new dreams. So we got the opportunity to inspire new dreams and give birth to new dreams and imaginations. Mars conjunct Pluto, I'm passionate about what we transforming right now. So we all need to be passionate about what we transforming, what we don't want to go back to. We ain't trying to go back to that. We ain't trying to go back to that. We on some whole new shit. We on some whole new shit. And we already set up and the spirit is that. And we go do it together. That's what it's going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it together. Jupiter sextile Uranus. Opportunity to change our experiences. Okay, so we got an opportunity to change our experiences right now. And you got the opportunity to experience loneliness, loneliness right now. So if you feel alone, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You got the opportunity to feel alone and with the, within your experience. If you ain't got no soul group or if you ain't got no like-minded people or if you ain't got no mission or bond in mind, I feel sorry for you because shit is trying to change. You know what I'm saying? So we all trying to, we all got the opportunity to experience change right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if your ass ain't, ain't one, two on your one, two, then you might experience some shit that you don't want to experience alone and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You need to link with people that that have motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, have fucking ambition in their life and have some wisdom in their life and feel like they can go places. You know what I'm saying? That's who you need to link with. You need to link with people who feel like they can go places. You ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity here. You know what I'm saying? Even if that's yourself, even if that that's you. You know what I'm saying? Jupiter, sextile, Uranus, you the motherfucking individual that got that opportunity to go places. You ain't taking it. Why you ain't taking it? Now, wait. Maybe drop my goddamn blood out of pop. Hit you upside your goddamn head. Why you ain't taking it? Take that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got the opportunity to experience yourself, your individuality right now. I get it. Sometimes people don't like experiencing themselves. They may think they too unique. They may feel like they too extreme. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this don't look right. I don't want to wear this because people going to think this and it's just too changing. Nah. Nah. No, boy. You got the opportunity to experience your individuality, boy. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're experiencing your individuality, man. That's the worst thing to be scared of is yourself. Worst thing. What? What? Why are you scared of yourself? Child, who told you to be scared of yourself? Lord. Mm -hmm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Worst thing. Worst thing. And hey, motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers make it easy for you to be scared of yourself. But shit, you know what I'm saying? With all their little trick knowledge... And all they little spookisms and shit. And, oh, you ain't supposed to know that. You ain't supposed to think for yourself. You ain't supposed to let alone think you hot without our validation. Man, fuck is you. Because I've been doing this shit since I was shorty. I ain't give a fuck about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I came here pre prepared and ready and shit like that. I was already in that space and shit like that. I was, didn't ever leave. And shit like that. My mind may just, you know what I'm saying, veered off a little bit, but I got back on path. You know what I'm saying? So I remember who I was. I remember who I was in 30 million life, 30 gazillion eon lifetimes. Um, yeah, then we got uh, 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 Saturn square Uranus. So, you know what I'm saying? We all going to be learning about the changes going on in reality. And this was one big ass lesson for you. These is all the things that's changing. I am the representation of this motherfucking, uh, guess what I said? I'm Kelsey through the spirit code getting you in shape and form for the new age of Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? 
because motherfucking first of all it's not the first time we didn't did the age of aquarius we already trying to do the new age of aquarius on some on some well well we're experiencing it by creating other vessels like the gadgets and the phone and shit like that but that's a whole deeper a whole nother video and shit like that it's just overlapping ourselves we trying to create better bodies so we can exist outside we can externalize ourselves in more ways and being more connected and that's what telekinesis is if you really think about it but y'all don't look at it like that because they be programming y'all like with like visuals and shit like that and like just like they went to the moon so you you think you they went to the moon but they really did and you believe everything you know what i'm saying it don't work like it don't work like that don't work like that don't be believing just anything you know what i'm saying i can make I can do 3D shit too. You know what I'm saying? You want to believe believe some real shit in life. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so Saturn and Square Uranus, we're going to be learning about the change in reality. So motherfucking, make sure you're learning some shit. Make sure you learn shit changing. Make sure you learn that it changes. Nothing stay the same. God damn it, you looking around like, God damn, this shit, whole shit didn't change. Where the fuck was I at? La La Land. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but reality changed though. You know what I'm saying? So if you was an individual, you know what I'm saying? Which Aquarius is like myself and other Aquarius is, You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the soul group Aquarius. Is, millionaire Aquarius Moon. You know what I'm saying? We can show you how to be an individual and unique. We can show you how to change and shit like that. He said they filmed the moon visit underwater using scuba gear. Right. Bro, that, none of that shit look real. And then everybody's still believing the news like it ain't a uh, like it ain't a motherfucking uh, entertainment f facility and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? With actors and motherfucking trained specialists and makeup artists. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just be believing anything on there. It's just wild. Because y'all got to chill. Got to chill a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers going to get killed doing certain things. Practice, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't under y'all know them people. Y'all y'all know them people. Y'all don't know them people. I know who I know. We know each other. You know what I'm saying? I know you. I know you, and we can come to conclusions on what makes sense by what we observing in reality and shit like that. No, that don't make sense. It just seemed like they just putting on the screen things that don't make sense. And when we look around, everybody chilling. Everybody have a nice time and shit like that. And they're telling us people dropping dead didn't make sense. They had to pull it back. So I'm not wearing masks right now. Goofballs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, chill though. They they still they still on that war shit. You know what I'm saying? War shit. You know, that's when they get really frustrated. Oh, people ain't paying enough attention about the cause of war in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just on social media and we can just believe anything. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, real niggas chilling, real niggas spilling. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we learning that reality changing right now. You know what I'm saying? And we learning how to change with reality right now. Neptune, sextile, Pluto. Opportunity to put depth to illusions. You know what I'm saying? This is happening in a major way for all of us. You know, we're actually putting depth to old old dreams, old imaginations and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what the fuck your dream was a shorty was gonna lead to at the end of the day and shit like that. So you know what I'm saying? We we put we put in depth to them old imaginations, them outdated imaginations. You know what I'm saying? Shit don't make no sense no more type shit, you know what I'm saying? But we're taking power control of what we want to make sense about it. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you want to make sense about it, have um in your dream, you know what I'm saying? Know that you can do that shit. Believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take power control over that feeling that you got within you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let motherfuckers just, you know what I'm saying? Just show your dreams like your dreams ain't the shit. You know what I'm saying? God damn it, we all spirits and bodies. We all can come together, do this shit together. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. How you, how you think we got here? How you think we all close to each other experiencing this goddamn experience? Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, some spiritual shit going on. Some spiritual shit going on. All right? 
Right? Yeah. But I appreciate y'all for coming to the motherfucking workout. You know what I'm saying? Let's build. If anybody wants to hop in, you know what I'm saying? We can build a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. So just hit the motherfucking, uh, the little, um, the little joint, joint, the little joint, joint. Whatever. I forgot. I don't know. Add somebody. Yeah. If y'all want to add y'all stuff, that's what I'm trying to say. Y'all want to request. You know what I'm saying? We can build on Pisces, New Moon, how it's affecting you. You know what I'm saying? Your hopes and dreams, your beliefs, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you see for the future, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because it's the black future. You know what I'm saying? Okay, hey, we, 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 we put we put in the future to what was dead. You know what I'm saying? We're giving birth to something new. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you have something black that's, that's motherfucking esoterically speaking, you know what I'm saying? That's like something that's 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 condensed. You know what I'm saying? And when you got the future, that's something that's not condensed. So you know what I'm saying? When you can uncondense something, shit, this is having a new inspiration and shit like that. This is like being in a tight space where you know, boom, now it's an explosion. Now you got a new opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, know that I get real spiritual with the shit too. No cap. But yeah, other than that, you know what I'm saying? I'm Kelsey, the spirit coach. Thank you for coming to the Esoteric Home. Get your ass in a motherfucking game. <laughs>